very warm welcome to a humble Highland home. It's great to have you join me here today. Summer is marching on and some wild plants in the garden are reaching their peak before they die back and some will continue to flourish for a good while yet. Sometimes you have to seize the opportunity before the moment is gone. I'm going to be collecting some wild edible plants that I will be storing for teas for throughout the year ahead. Remember, as always, to forage responsibly and always be absolutely sure of your plant ID and only take just what you need. White clover has got so many benefits and not just to humans. Food for grazing animals and it's enjoyed by local wildlife and pollinators. And it's great for fixing nitrogen in the soil. Clovers are part of the legume family and have been used by many cultures as a traditional medicine to treat inflammation of the joints and as a cough remedy. Research has also shown the benefits of red clover for menopausal symptoms in women. We'll leave more information about all the plants that I'm harvesting today in the description below. This is called the pineapple weed or otherwise known as wild chamomile. It just looks like a daisy without the petals, but it's got a very, very strong smell. Missed a lot of these this year, but there's a few left, but they are getting a little bit tough now. So I'll just take a few to dry. Pineapple weed is good for digestion and it can help to reduce stress. It's also been used to treat sores and fevers. Leaves are also edible eaten raw and the flower heads can make the infused drinks. So that's the bit that I'm harvesting today. I foraged nettle seeds in my last video. So I just used the same seeds to make nettle seed tea. I've already foraged and dried nettle leaves and the new growth started to appear in springtime. I generally like to save a good amount of nettle leaves and nettle seeds as I use a lot of them throughout the year. I will share more information in the description below about the benefits of nettles and nettle seeds and also the link to my previous video. This is the Rose Bay Willow Herb and I make Ivan Chai from the leaves of this plant. This is one of my absolute favourite teas and it grows in abundance so I can make a very large jar of this to ferment and dry to store. I made three videos last year about the Rose Bay Willow Herb and the useful benefits of the plant. I will leave a link in the description below. Apart from the Ivan Chai, which is a fermented tea, I will just leave these wild edibles to dry naturally as I can, but I may finish them off completely in the dehydrator. These plants are called calendula and they're growing lovely in the polytunnel but they volunteered themselves from last year's planting. Picking a few flowers from them and deadheading them will help them stimulate new growth and new flowers. Angela are packed with antioxidants 
anti-inflammatory compounds and studies have shown that calendula when applied to the skin can promote wound and ulcer healing. That's why every year I make a fresh batch of calendula salve. I'm using the dehydrator trays to lay everything out to dry naturally and then they're just ready to pop in the dehydrator if I need to. By taking the time today to forage and harvest the wild edibles I've been able to gain medicinal and nutritional teas just from a few steps from the front door. There's no food packaging, there's no food miles, it's been sustainably sourced and there's no additives. And I can naturally control the weed growth in the garden. Well, a little bit anyway. find this quite a mindful task. Just sitting outside, I've nowhere else to be, listening to the birds, listening to the water running in the burn, and just focusing on what I'm doing. The Ivan chai takes a little bit longer than just drying the leaves as it's a fermented tea. And the first step is to allow the leaves to wilt a little bit and then roll in the leaves in your fingers just to bruise them and put them in a glass jar to start the fermenting process. Ivan chai is also known as warrior tea and has got an, an absolute abundance of medicinal properties. So here we have my collection of wild walked for edibles that I'll be making into teas for this coming year. So remember to take some time, slow down, pour yourself a brew and just appreciate the moment. Thank you so much for joining me here today. I hope you've enjoyed today's video. But for now, take care of yourself and others and I'll see you in the next video.